Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, in this video, I have a dinette um, area with the dinette table that collapses. And many of you may have this set up so you know what it's for, a little sleeping area. Um, and it's good for uh, transporting the uh, table so it doesn't fly around while you're driving. So it's, we leave it in this position when we're uh, transporting the trailer to locations. But we've had a problem on our trailer where this little, this here, the mechanism here is so when the table is in the upright position, it locks in place. Well, there's this little tab here that you use to move it with your fingers and it, it just seems to fall off all the time like that. So I've come up with a solution here and here's all I need to do the job. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna put this in the upright position and show you what I plan on doing. Now you can see this in the upright position. Let's go in here a little closer and I'll show you this, uh, this little tab here. Like I said, it comes off all the time and it's really annoying. So we find it like rolling all over the trailer floor uh, sometimes. Um, so anyway, this, this is my solution here. Put this knob on here and it should work pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this table over and I'll show you how I uh, install this new knob. Here it is upside down. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse the legs down. I'll show you how I do that. So right now I can push here really hard um, and then it, this latch will go over. There you go. And then I'm gonna collapse this down. Just like that. So now this opens up the area here where I had this little yellow tab that keeps falling out, which helps you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my knob on here like that, and I'll show you how I do that. It should go pretty fast. So what I'm gonna do first, is I'm gonna remove the yellow tab here, um, is I'm gonna take this, this mechanism and put my crescent wrench on it and bend it back slightly, just being careful not to go too far or break anything just you can see it's not taking a lot of effort uh, because when I put this on this here will be on the back side and it might try and hit the the on the leg mechanism when it swivels up it might hit on it so I, I create a little bit of clearance right here so when you buy these you could buy them at a local hardware store Home Depot or anywhere um, they come with an assortment of screws, usually different lengths. So um, what I need to do, these are too long. These screws are too long. So what I did was I screwed a screw into here as tight as I could. And then I, I, I figured out how long it was. And I want to make sure it was tight once I screwed it on here. Then you take this here. You screw your screw in. And these are just wire stripper tool, but you also have some, uh, you can cut some small bolts with it too. Screwed it through here. And then what I'm gonna do, then you just squeeze it and it cut it. And then you're able to unscrew this out and then screw it into here. So that's how you cut a screw. So now I'm gonna take some of this Loctite here it comes in blue, orange, and red. So blue is uh, will lock the bolt in place, but not not very strong. Orange is between red and blue, which it'll you put it on the threads, and it'll keep the screw from backing out um, unless you put a wrench on it. The red is more permanent, so if you get red, it's uh, probably better. But I decided to go with the orange. So I'm going to go ahead and open this pack, and then put a little bit on the threads right here. I'm going to take this out, put it on the threads, and then we'll put it together. So I've applied just a little bit of the thread lock on here on the threads. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick this through here and screw this on tight. Just like that. And 
I'll just make it really tight like that. I'll take a screwdriver and uh, tighten this up right here by getting in there. Uh, I can't really get it in there. Uh, maybe I can. I'll just move that over. Like that. Nice and tight. So now it's a lot easier to move that. And rather than this uh, little yellow tab. So so that project's pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and move this in the up position and see if it works. <clears throat> so that works pretty well. I like that a lot better. And I've, and I've also bent this out far enough so it doesn't hit on here and uh, so if you're having problems with this falling off or, or your hands aren't in the best shape to unlock this and um, or unlock it you might go this route the reason I use this color was because it's I had one but they probably sell them in black if you want to Before I flip the table back over, I want to tell you I've been calling this Loctite, but it's Permatex because I'm used to using um, Loctite. So it's the same thing. What you do when you put on the threads and tighten everything up, it'll harden up and then this, this won't just come off. It shouldn't. Um, anyway, so before I flip it over, I want to show you something. I'm going to put a link to the a video. I'm going to put it actually right above here in the corner. Uh, where you can link to it, where this table was warped. Let's see, it was warped uh, slightly like this. So I purchased uh, some channel iron for here and here, and I adhered it down, and I clamped it all in place so that um, it would be straight. And I did some stuff here to make the table flat again because it was all curved and bowed. So um, I'll take a look in the corner up here, and you'll see link to that. I'm going to go ahead and flip this table over. So here it is with the table in place the way it usually is when we're sitting at it. And you can see here that knob worked out pretty well. Like that. So some of the newer models, uh, this is a 2017, um, have some type of a clamp mechanism here in this place uh, of where I put the knob. So you might not need that, but if you have anything before probably 2018 or 2020, you might have what we have here. So um, I'm going to go in closer to show you how this works. So here's a nice close-up shot. So hopefully you can see how this works. So now when I push this knob over, this goes over, a little pin pops out to keep this away. There's a little latch mechanism here where it usually is in this position to lock it when the table's up. So now what I'll do is I'm going to fold the table slightly and you'll see this will go, this pin will go on the back side of it and then it goes and it locks in place. So this uh, works pretty well. Um, let me back out. I want to show you something else I did to this table to strengthen it up. So before we move on and uh, say goodbye here, I want to show you something else on this table. You know, I said I strengthened this up um, and uh, it helped the movement on this table. These tables are known to move around a little bit. They mainly move on the joints here on some trailers. So, but on mine, well, I was getting a lot of movement was down here. So when, if you lean on the table, this would be flexing this way. So. What I found was this here is one by two tubing and the original tubing is really thin. Um, so what I did is I bought eighth inch tubing and it's one by two to strengthen it up because when it would flex right here, this would all bend. This metal is all bent on both sides. I wish I'd made a video on it to share with everybody, but I've told a few people that have asked how I've strengthened the table. Um, what I've done and I've explained it to them. So I thought I'd throw it in here. So if they ever asked me again. So I all I did to these brackets came with it, the L brackets. I just drilled a hole through it and um, 
put the bolt in so I replaced this here I went with eighth inch steel and then what I did was I just drilled a hole there and then I tapped it um, and then screwed the bolt in with the leg in it the legs are what came with the other one what you could do if you don't want to tap it just drill a hole and then put a nut on this side and tighten it up so this helped it out quite a bit so I don't know if some of you might want to try and do that so with that I want to say thanks for watching everybody I sure appreciate it um, I hope you learned something from it and maybe you'll do the same or if you want uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments below or if you want you can um, share ways you fix the table around the base or how to, how you strengthen it or any anything you've done to the table share it in the comments below and others will read that and they'll be able to see uh, get ideas of what to do so I hope that's helpful if you like this video give it a thumbs up I appreciate it and uh, hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos thanks for watching everybody take care and happy camping